a official of the foreign ministry, who controls Washington Salela transfers, thinks closely in to provide long-range fires and other abilities to Ukraine. Director Regional Security Weapons Transfers of the Ministry Foreign Affairs. Laura Cressy. Regional Security and Weapons Transfers Director We should continue to take a very close deliberate look at what Ukraine needs. There is too much conversation about the F-16s. There is a lot of talk about long-range fires, he said. The United States. No matter what the hot issue right now. See Cressy said. Cressy said. This is not only the United States that provides talents to Ukraine. They provide materials. Cressy and Mike Miller. Deputy Director of the Pentagon's Defense Security Cooperation Agency expressed his hope that the Congress will continue to allocate funds to gather Ukraine. The support of the U.S. Congress in this effort was remarkable. Mill Miller said during a panel debate, providing weapons from U.S. stocks, Ukraine security assistance attempt, signed a contract through foreign military financing, Congress. Since the occupation of Russia for Ukraine $61 billion of military aid has passed the White House in August, Congress with request for additional expenditure of Ukraine military aid asked for more than $13 billion. Most senators support demand, including Parliament Speaker Kevin McCarthy, R. Califf. An August CNNSers questionnaire found that 55 of U.S. voters opposed additional aid to Ukraine, while 71 of the Republicans opposed additional Ukrainian aid. 62 of the Democrats preferred more aid for Kiev. Reversal course in F-16s pro-Ukrainian Republicans in Congress. As requested by President Volodymyr Zelensky Biden administration pressed to send their long-range abilities such as Army Tactical Missile Systems or ATACM, he reversed ensure and gave training authority for Ukrainian pilots who would fly jets provided by Denmark and Netherlands. A provision in the Parliament's financial 2024 defense policy law will require Pentagon to build Lockheed ballistic missiles for Kiev through the Ukrainian security assistance attempt. Estonia's defense official number two, permanent secretary of the Ministry of Defense Kusti Salm called Ukrainian war as an existential question for NATO. At the conference, Salm said, Russia pushed it into a war of where our defense, especially in Europe, should be a self-wounding spiral of the default defense budgets, he added. Our business reverse it. Bryant Harris is a Congress reporter. He also wrote for Foreign Policy, Al Monitor, Al Jazeera English and IPS News.